Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In our today's video, we are going to explore this amazing e-commerce website which we have been built using React 19 and Next.js 15 beside all of the Firebase authentication and also the Firebase database store. And beside that, we are fetching that product pretty much dynamically so you can see all the scenario. So that's our home page and also as you see, that's our all product page over here which having all the filter categories by filter and also the other filters which we are going to focus later on let's go back to the home page and now as you see we have our header in the header we have logo and deliver to in the all we have all our categories if we click any of the categories these categories it will underline that similar categories page as you see the category is selected we can just go through the beauty products go through the fragrance and the products is loading like that and now let's go back to the home again so now we can also go through the search like if i just search something so let's go in the powder canister and now as you see we are now in the single page where we just created that we can add to cart from here now as you see in the right side i think better to go with some more products which having the alternative so now uh as you see we have the scenario here i think not this one also i i want to see some more uh like the images and others oh all are having a single image I think this one maybe yeah this one having the multiple image so we can just toggle to the image like in a separate image and you can see you can view through some are loading a little bit late it's just because of that my network issues but no worries the link it will be in the description you can go through the site and you will just try it yourself that you're gonna see it will work perfectly fine then we have our like the sign in option favorite cart and also the order items once we are going to log in we're going to fetch that i'm going to just keep it like that right now so that you can view it and feel free to go and alternate on that uh, right now if you click on the card or any of the order page you will not be adding there because we are uh, like not letting the people to go over there you have to log in and authenticate yourself before viewing that now one more thing is that we have pretty much sidebar here which also you can sign in and also you can uh, toggle through all the alternative which we can just let so far let's just go to see the all products view here so as uh, i said before we can now toggle through the filter through of the categories and you see the all the beauty if we click on the furniture is coming all the furniture product you can just go back to home and again go to the all products it's working perfectly fine we can also go with the price range like high to low as you see the highest and if you go to the low to high also have that low to high so that is not the actual case scenario there is something more why i'm let's just go back to the home again i want you to just land that page again to just to showcase to what's happening around the first thing is that we will just make that in a very incredible way because there is a loader here if we just go at the bottom as you see it's loading and it's a second page is loaded so every time you go at the bottom the loader automatically it just creating your own pagination instead of creating one two three four that thing's gonna load up and this picture is very high resolution so it's just taking a bit of time to load no worries about it again i'm saying maybe whenever you are trying it will be very cool so as you see wow you can load the second page you can load the other page so every time the product is available you can just load like that if we click on the home decoration this decoration product it will be available i can now go with the high to low to just showcase whatever other product is which will be available and also low to high just in case to generate the product you see the price variation here because the image is just taking the perception but it will work perfectly fine now let's go back to the home and as soon as we just appear here we can see much more affecting is going on now we will try to create some of the checkout let's just go for sign in so if we click on sign in there is a separate option there google github facebook and also you can go with the email and password but I will prefer with the sign in with the google and for you people use the google because that's the one i made it open and pretty soon within this week this video we're gonna start building this video from this scratch so you will learn how to add up this everything from the end to end so no worries about that this one why i'm just making a feature because if you are in early bird you want to you can also feel free to go in the buy me a coffee section you can purchase entire code blocks if you want if you want you can get it early but no worries 
within this week maybe we're gonna start building this project and you can find this entire video in the playlist somewhere and if we click on the add to card as you see product adding at the card and we can increase the quantity we can decrease but as i told before we cannot decrease less than one so add some more product because we want to create a checkout instances also we can add in the fabric as you see if you click it will automatically add it in the fabric the same thing we can do over here the same as you see it's working perfectly you can go back to the fabric as you see that's the product you can have an image category brand status price and action you can add to the card from here also that's how you can do it now let's go back to the card uh, in the card we have all the products available and as you see this just having here in the details we have the image name brand category and others no worries that's just having some portion here it will come whenever you are trying that and previously if we just go in our order item as you see in the order we are showcasing the order list with order id total amount payment status and order date if we click it will view all the details if we click also we can delete that one just it will remove that product like remove that order and trilogy you can do that so first what i'm gonna do and again i'm saying if you're facing some issue with the image just no worries about that it will be loaded okay it will take time because my network issues other than it's working perfectly fine now we have the subtotal value we have our discount value we have our payable total value and as you see the next this amount is last one is the 100 if you go in the card this one it will go with the 6575 and also as you see here last payment is 100.03 let's go and create a checkout so this checkout is not a normal checkout what we did we configure our webhook to check each and every single action whenever we are dispatching so right now and this email it will be auto fill up as we are passing that email directly so if you go 4242 and just create a valid card number and like that let's just hit pay so previously we had one card like one order item and also we had product in the car so after making things successfully done what it gonna do it gonna just empty our card item and also it gonna add the like add the car order in the like order in our database and also as you see uh is that is added let's just uh yeah it's added already so now as you see our card is emptied our order list is updated previously it has one now it has two we can view orders from here clicking that as you see six five seven five and also if we just uh reload that portion it will also generate the order which we have been just passing now all the actions like dispatching the details pay things and also passing that products to our uh, database everything is just going to coming on the api so the users doesn't have the actions to see there they will they will the secret is secure and they will not have access to go there so that's how we are going to build this we build this one entirely now why i am just putting that i just you can also log out from here if you want it too uh, the purpose to passing that previously uh, so many people you were requesting to do the pagination section so i just prefer this way you know the loading at the bottom no need to click that it will automatically load the second page or third page or fourth page and if you want the alternate position how you can just make that and also you can see see all categories if you click it will showcase all categories you can also in uh, just activate that if you want i just keep it deactivate because it's taking lots of bandwidth here right now so i'm just skipping some actions now what my request is what things you pay for more now these actions this data is i'm just accepting from the dummy json because you know it will be a, a not a hectic journey to building and full stack amazon clone which we pre predefined build before so many times but in 2025 what i really want you to understand how those things mechanism work and also you're going to work with the seo relatives how the you can make the uh, your website more faster so many things going to come up within this video so that's why uh, the product uploading data set i'm not going to keeping in this video and also i'm not going to use any cms like content management services basically what i'm using like sanity or any other platform but pretty much defined everything going to be top notch trust me 
top notch why i'm saying that because see the design it's fully responsive from the smaller device to others it will be fully responsive all the variables it will be working perfectly aligned if you go here you just uh make it that uh, okay uh, i think i logged out so it will not let me go so everything going to be up to date it and pretty much perfectly aligned now my request is that whatever is coming on your mind let me know in the comments why i'm saying that because in this build everything going to be perfectly aligned so if you're having any suggestion it will not be like the last one i that's why i'm just i'm gonna wait for like maximum one two three days i'm gonna wait for your response then i'm gonna start building so your presentation gonna let it be work here and if you also let me know if you want to try to pass uh, much more other filters and also you want to make a similarities with this uh, like the design pattern let me know in the comments we're gonna figure it out and we're gonna make this happen entirely so it's up to you how you're gonna lend me through to build that we're gonna build it entirely in this way so feel free to like this video and also subscribe the channel and no worries whenever the video is gonna publish also i'm gonna also let it be in the comments below and also let other people to i'm gonna notify you for sure so all the best start thinking how you're gonna end up and how you're gonna clear up and if you want to get that again i'm saying you can just fetch it from here all the code all the guideline you know that from the readme file you can get everything set up over there you just need to put the credential and all the products all the data set everything going to be end up there so it's up to you if you want to get it you see everything working perfectly aligned it's up to you so feel free to go over there and just i'm giving you one to three days feel free to drop any new features you want because all uh, once i packed up for the videos it's difficult to add up something there because i need to keep my mindset right so that's why one to three days is there just let me know whatever the new feature you are willing to build i'm gonna drop it there okay so all the best i'm wishing so many comments gonna come up and i'm gonna pour this in so all the best we'll see you in the projects